Tarsier Studios, the company behind the first two Little Nightmares games, have just released the trailer for their new upcoming game. You see, about two years ago, it was announced that Tarsier Studios had sold the Little Nightmares property to a company called Supermassive Games, most well known for making big budget horror games like Until Dawn and House of Ashes. They were also the ones who worked on the most recent updates for Little Nightmares 2, as well as Little Nightmares 3, and the Sounds of Nightmares podcast, meaning that presumably, the future of the Little Nightmares franchise going forward is in their hands, which has left Tarsier Studios to do their own thing for the past couple of years. And do their own thing they have, with the subtle lead up to the reveal of a whole new horror game. A new Tarsier project was first hinted at being under development in mid-2022, when Tarsier Studios released a short gif containing three images, one of a broken down house, one of a car driving down a winding road, and the third of a horrific body horror style monster clinging to a roof. Then, in early 2023, a few screenshots were released. One of these depicting dreary cliffs next to water, with a tent, campfire, and small figure hunched next to them visible. The other shows what looks to be a group of people riding on a raft towards similar looking cliffs in the middle of another foggy body of water. I did videos on all these teasers, by the way. You can, like, watch them if you want. Uh, links in the iCard are in the description. Anyway, until now, that was all we knew about this game. The updates on development were cryptic and the news was scarce. But that all changed yesterday when the Tarsier account tweeted, It's been a busy few years. Thought we'd kick back and see if there's any surprises on the THQ Nordic Digital Showcase tomorrow. Attached was one of the same two screenshots we'd already seen, strongly implying that we'd get news for the game the next day. And sure enough, Today, a trailer was posted to the THQ Nordic channel called Unannounced Tarsier Studios Project Teaser. So now, onto the trailer itself. Right away, as soon as the trailer starts, the atmosphere is instantly striking. Everything from the art style to the color palette to the sound design is very, very close to that of Little Nightmares 2 with the wooden, rickety, falling apart aesthetic, which we will find out is a barn later on in the trailer, to the textures, to the lighting and fog effects, the giant piles of sludge on the ground, the insects buzzing in the air, and even the way the architecture and location looks in general. Everything about this screams Little Nightmares, and absolutely looks like it could be a section from the Hunter's level of Little Nightmares too. As the teaser progresses, and we move more through this barn area, Past more stables and sludge, we finally get the big reveal. An enormous pig stomps out of the fog. Its skin looks mottled and rotten, with two giant sutures crawling down each side of its back. As it steps into place, one of the sutures breaks open, spilling its guts and intestines all over the ground. Now, continuing with the theme of this game's similarities to Tarzir Studios' previous works, one thing I noticed here, right off the bat, is that this pig creature looks almost exactly identical to something first showcased in one of the Little Nightmares concept sketches. In this section of the Little Nightmares 2 art book for the Hunter's level, we can see a very similar looking pig with the same two sutures going along its back, as well as its guts spilling out the bottom of its stomach in a very similar manner to this new game. So I'd have to strongly suspect here that they drew heavy inspiration from this pig's design, as well as the forest section of Little Nightmares 2 in general when making certain aspects of this new game. Okay, so in the very last part of the teaser, as he's walking out of frame, the pig turns to the camera and in a very deep voice says, they are coming. As to what he's referring to here, it's completely unclear, as we know absolutely nothing about the story of this game. But if I had to make a guess, I'd assume he's probably referring to the much bigger, scarier monsters we saw teased in that original GIF from two years ago. And since he's warning our character, I don't necessarily think just from this that the pig is an evil character, but just based on his general vibe, I highly doubt he's an ally either. Finally, the end of the teaser gives us some more information about this game. On August 20th, the project will be getting a full reveal trailer at Gamescom Online. Presumably then, information about the title, plot, and gameplay of this new project will be brought to light. And hopefully then we will also get to see just how far the visual and design similarities between this game and the Little Nightmares franchise actually go. 
Two videos in a row! I'm on a roll, boys! Ah! And you know, I haven't slept in a good, uh, like, 30 hours, but it's fine. Look at the way the light looks when I stand up. It's like the freaking nuclear sun over here. I'm getting cooked. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. I will uh, definitely be covering this game when the trailer does, in fact, come out in a few weeks. Because it does look really interesting, even if it is pretty similar to Little Nightmares. Um, so yeah, like, subscribe to boost all engagement, and watch time, and other stuff that I pretend not to care about, and goodbye. I will see you in the next video.